Today on Power Times, we're going to go over the top 10 native superstitions. As a kid growing up in the reserve, we've always been warned about doing many things or else there will be dire consequences. Native American tribes often believe in good luck and bad luck if you didn't do a certain thing in a certain way. Nowadays, people are not heeding the warnings of our elders and things are happening to them. What kind of things must you not do? Here is the top 10 Native American superstitions. At number 10, we have taken pictures of your new car. In some Native American beliefs, it is said that one must not take a picture of your new ride. Elders of the past believed that when you take pictures of something new, like a car, it was not going to last. Have you ever taken a picture of a new car soon for it to break down? Maybe this is the reason why. At number 9, we have putting your shoes on the wrong feet. When I was a young boy, I was filled with much energy and just wanted to get outside. I remember vividly that my mother would always yell at me because I would put my shoes on the wrong feet. Later on, I asked her why, and she told me that it was an old teaching. It was said that if you put your shoes on the wrong feet, you will be sure to run into a bear. So before your young ones go out to play, make sure they have their shoes on the right way. At number 8, we have Don't Whistle at Night. Long time ago, one of my cousins came to visit, and it was pretty dark out. When he was walking towards the house, he was whistling a cheerful tune, and then entered the house. Right away, when he entered the house, my mother yelled at him, Don't whistle at night. And my cousin said, Why? And then my mother replied, Because at night time is when all the bad spirits like to roam around. And when you whistle at night, you're calling them to your direction. Being alone and dark, I can understand that his whistling was just a way not to be scared. And I don't think he whistled at night again thereafter. At number 7, don't play during a funeral. A long time ago, when I was about 7 years old, I remember me and my cousins playing downstairs at my sister's house. The game was called Wolf, and the objective of the game was to find someone in the dark and go take them, and that person would become the wolf. So about half an hour into the game, in complete darkness, with just the light of the moon shining through the basement windows, I remember standing behind the furnace and I turned around to see if the route was safe to run away. When I turned around, I caught a glimpse of a white cooler, and behind me it had a strange white glow coming from it. For some reason I didn't look away, and I saw a figure of a white woman slowly rising from the water cooler, and then fade away. Not really sure of what I just saw, I calmly turned on the lights and let all the kids know what I had just seen. Of course, they did not believe me and said that I was lying. Then a couple of seconds later, my brother came downstairs and said, Hey, you kids shouldn't be playing down here. There's a funeral going on at the hall and you're not supposed to be playing at this time. All of us fell silent because we didn't know that the funeral was going on. And after I told everyone on what I had just seen, we all screamed and ran upstairs. So that's just one of the reasons why kids are not supposed to play during a funeral. At number 6, we got, be careful where you place a building. It is often said, you must beware of where you place your home or a building. The tradition goes back before the arrival of the European settlers. In my home reserve in Canada, there was a stubborn old man who wanted to build a house in a certain place beside a lake. Many elders warned him not to put his house there, but he would simply tell those people to screw off and be on his way. After the house was erected and he and his family moved in, not long after they started experiencing some strange occurrences in the home. Things like shadows, footsteps, things moving on their own, and constant nightmares. Finally, the family went and hired a local medicine man to try bless the house so they could be done with it once and for all. When the medicine man arrived and took one look at the house and turned to the people and said, I am sorry. I cannot help you. Whatever this thing is bothering you is very old and powerful. You should have asked some elders before you came and put your house here. This place was once the playground of the little people, and they are mad at you because you destroyed their play place. You either must leave or move the house somewhere else, but you cannot stay here. It is not safe anymore. The medicine man then left the family and moved, and the family moved and abandoned that house. Later, else someone moved in, the house.
house is still haunted to this day and is a hot spot for negative energy. And this is why you must be careful where you put your house or even where you walk because you could end up walking to an old ancient graveyard. At number five, we have the Northern Lights. For many tribes, the Northern Lights have a spiritual significance. Many tribes believe that the lights are actually the ones who have passed on into the spirit world. A common belief is that you cannot whistle or walk around at night during this time. When my auntie was just a teenager, she stayed out late one night with her friends and came walking home alone at night. On her way home, the Northern Lights started above her. She started walking faster as she was warned not to walk around during this time. She kept looking up at the lights and she could have sworn that they started to come down towards her. Trying not to panic, she convinced herself that it was all in her mind. She looked up once again and this time they were even closer. She tried again walking and she looked up at the lights and this time they were just above the tree line. She got scared and began to run home. As she was running, she could hear a strange whooshing sound coming from the lights. The lights passed close to her head, whooshing and whooshing again. She finally made it close to her house, then the noise suddenly stopped. She looked up and the lights were gone. She entered the house crying and she told her mother what she had seen. Her mother later on told her she was lucky because sometimes the spirits come down and take those who are wandering around at night. That's why walking around at night is very dangerous, especially when the northern lights are dancing in the sky. At number four, we have walking with kids. A lot of tribes believe that when walking with kids, you must let the children walk up ahead. With naturally little bodies and legs, kids often get left behind the pack. Because of this, they are more in danger from things in the woods, such as bears, cougars, or something worse. So when walking with kids, make sure that they are in front of you and you keep an eye on them. If you carelessly leave them behind, then you might look back one day and they will be gone. The moral of the story is, keep an eye on your children. At number three, we have fox crossing your path. There's another superstition that says if a fox crosses your path when you are going somewhere, you will have safe travels. If the fox crosses behind you during your travels, and you happen to turn back and look and see it, it is supposed to mean bad luck on your travels. A few years back, me and my family were traveling to the area of Coal Lake, Alberta to get some blueberries to raise money in order to get tickets to go to Saskatoon Fair that year. With the van full and I had nowhere to go and nowhere to sit, I had to sit way in the back where the spare tire usually goes. As I sat there, I remember looking back and I saw a fox cross the road behind us and I told everyone in the van. And half an hour later, we ended up getting stopped by the cops and we got a couple seatbelt tickets. The moral of the story is not to look back when you are moving forward. At number two, we have seeing Bigfoot. Some Native American tribes believe that if you see a Bigfoot, it is because he wanted you to see him. The Bigfoot is known to be a powerful spiritual entity that can disappear in an instant. Elders say that when you see one of these creatures, it is because you are doing something you are not supposed to do and you need to stop whatever it is you're doing. A couple of years ago, my stepsister brought a new man to the reserve who she just met. This man was secretly very abusive to her, and later when the man went to town for some food, he was on his way back and he said that he has seen a Bigfoot in the ditch as clear as day, simply looking at him. Scared out of his wits, the man rushed back to the house and told everyone what he had saw. Right away he was told to stop whatever he was doing. At the time, no one knew about this man's evil ways because he was fairly new to the family. He soon broke up with my stepsister and moved away. And finally, at number one, we have Killing an Eagle, a very powerful, important creature to the native people all across North America. The mighty eagle is said to be one of the closest animals to the creator, and killing it without proper protocol would be a very grave mistake. It is often said to kill an eagle, you must have a dream about it, then later on go and ask an elder if you should kill one. Sometimes the elder will give you his blessing, and sometimes he will not. 
If you kill an eagle without any ceremony, offering, or prayer, it is said that the spirits will take one of your family members for taking the life of the eagle in an improper way. Many people have killed eagles improperly and have experienced the loss of loved ones. The killing of eagles is super important to the Native American people. This is why we have placed it at number one. On behalf of Power Times, I'd like to personally thank you for tuning in and sticking around for the whole entire video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of these phenomenal videos. On behalf of Power Times, I will see you later. Until next time.